talks about. So I thought today we would go over the documents that um, the real Laura B posted on Twitter. And if you don't follow her on Twitter, I really suggest you go follow her. She works so hard providing us all the information that we get. So she's a really great, great person to follow. And I just give her all the credit for all of the hard work she does. I wouldn't have half the information I have for my videos if it wasn't for her. So thank you to the real Laura B over on Twitter. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about these documents. And what these documents are is basically they're from February the 12th, and it's um, where Johnny's team has had to just go in and make their fourth request for produ production of Discovery. And, you know, I don't know if you saw Tug's video earlier, for any of you who might not watch that Umbrella Guy, another one I suggest you go and find on YouTube and watch amazing, amazing stuff over on his channel. But I agree with him on this. This was a strategy. This was something that A.H. and her team was trying to pull off. And had the dates not been changed for the court from May the 17th of this year to April of next year of 2022, it might have worked because it would have really had Johnny's team up against the wall trying to get all this discovery. And that's the thing. This What they're asking for is basic discovery and to date and as the date that this was filed which was february the 12th nothing's been produced and that i'm aware of at this moment i don't think there's been any documentation produced yet and today is march the 11th so we're like just a little over a month since they filed for this and what i thought we'd do is talk about the different things some of the things they're asking for in this because i think it's I think it's fascinating. I think that this is um, really interesting. And when we do finally get this information, when we get this documentation, I believe that she is going to be blown out of the water. I believe that Johnny's team is going to be able to destroy her with fact. So let's talk about some of the documents. Um, what I thought we'd do is maybe do a few videos going through the different documents that are being asked for and talk about some of the reasons why they're important or why I think they're important. And I'd love from, to hear from you in the comments down below on the reasons you think these different documents are important. And as always, if you like this video, if you like what I'm doing here, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Please feed the algorithm, as Tug would say, and share this video and just help this channel to grow. And I really appreciate you. So let's get into it. So in the, the items one through 10 that Johnny's team are asking for, they are wanting her state and federal tax returns from 2010 and to, to present. And it says sufficient to reflect her gross income in each year from 2010 to present. And then they also, in these, in items 1 through 10, they're asking for documentation that deals with her counterclaim. Um, as you may be aware, she has asked for, I can't even say it with a straight face, she is counterclaim for $100 million in damages to her career and money that she would have lost. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> but um, that is what... That's what items 1 through 10 is asking for documentation. Basically, they're saying, okay, you've lost $100 million? Prove it. And what I find interesting, especially with number one on her state and federal tax returns, like I said, this is going to this is gonna go right in the face of her counterclaim because this is going to prove that she never would have made that kind of money anyway. And... You know, the, <laughs> in fact, I saw, I made myself a note, I saw on Twitter today, um, someone had posted a UK article where they had, in this article, they literally had to put in the title, Johnny Depp's ex-wife, A.H., is being considered for Tangled or something. But the whole point of it was, is that even in articles, they can't get clicks unless they put... Johnny Depp in it. 
or Aquaman, they can't get clicks with her name alone. And that right there tells you she's not lost $100 million. And in fact, Aquaman is her biggest movie. And I think she was only paid like eight to 10 million for that movie. So where this 100 million comes in is amazing. But that right there is gonna be, those tax returns are gonna prove that is false and yet another lie. And it's also going to prove that there's a little statement she's loved to say many times that, oh, I was financially independent during our marriage. Well, these tax returns are gonna show that Sweetheart, you probably weren't. And so that, that you know, in those first 10 items, they're really going to prove, hey, no, this woman is insane. And then items 11 through 14, um, they're, they're asking, they're wanting for proof of her so-called damages at, at the res, as a result of the statements made by Adam Wallman and the 200 bogus Twitter accounts that she claimed made a targeted attack at her and sought to ruin her reputation. Well, you know, they're saying, okay, this happened, prove it. That's what they want in this documentation. That's what these items are asking for is all the documentation. This, If you're saying this happened, show us. And I mean, and that's important for a, a lot of reasons. It just, it destroys her counterclaim. And it also, you know, as Tug said in his video earlier, if you ask Johnny to provide proof of how his reputation and his career has been destroyed because of the op-ed that she put in the Washington Post, he can easily provide evidence of it. Well, that's what they're wanting from her. And, you know, that that's just going to fly in the face of her counterclaim, and it's going to prove yet again this woman is a liar. Then we move on to items 15 to 17, and they refer to documents and communications that reflect uh, or relate to the DVRO and her counterclaim that the, that the GQ article also hurt her reputation and that so she deserves $100 million. And, you know, that is yet another way of proving that she is a liar and that she does not deserve any money. So that each one of these... As you see, they're building and they're showing, you know, not only do you not deserve $100 million, you're also a liar. And so it proves Johnny's case and it throws her claim out of the water with, with each one of these. And we're going to finish up with items 18 and 19 because I really love these. They're asking for all drafts of her op-ed and all documents and communications regarding her op-ed. And what this is going to show, see, she claimed in the UK that someone else, the ACLU, was mostly responsible for the writing of this, which she did that on purpose because what she's being sued over here in Virginia is the op-ed she put in the Washington Post because that damaged Johnny's career and his reputation. So by getting these documents and getting all communications, it's going to go to prove that she is responsible for that op-ed, which in turn makes her responsible for Johnny losing jobs, his reputation being ruined, and therefore he's able to win his case. So, I mean, this is, this is just items one through 19 that we've talked about here. There's so many more to come, but they basically have the case one if they can get just these. But I'm, I'm curious what you think. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about it. And until next time, as always, be blessed. Mm -hmm.